You're listening to an archived Cabral Concept podcast. After listening to this show, check out the most up-to-date podcasts available at stephencabral.com slash podcasts or search directly on iTunes. And now, welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Cabral Concept. Great to have you here on this Friday review where we are going to be going through the absolute best of the week. Some of my favorite things that I've come across, a fun new product review, some research that I absolutely do think that you should hear about, especially when we keep being told over and over that weight loss and weight gain is simply about calories in, calories out. It's just not the case. And then I'll go over some lab results of the week. So I love doing the Friday review because I get to share with you a lot of just my favorite things. And since I'm always going through the research, I pick out the studies that I believe that I've been reading over, that the ones that will have the most bearing on you and that the ones that you'll want to share with friends and family so that they hear more about this information as well so that wherever they are on their health journey, that they can absolutely take that next step forward. You know, that's one of the nice things about, you know, where we're at right now in this day and age is that a lot of people may not be ready to take that fifth step, that 10th step, you know, that jumping from A to X that you may be at right now. And I know like when we start to get healthier and we start to learn more, we want to kind of just pull people along with us for the ride, but they're simply not there yet. So even though you have the right intentions, the best intentions for people, they're simply not always ready yet. And it's even people listening to the show as well. You know, I'm trying to promote the best of everything, but they they may not be ready to run the lab test or they may not understand that lab testing literally gives you a window into your own body as to how it's working. Or they might not understand the principles of good organic-based food. They may not know about oh, why it's important to get good quality uh, fruits and vegetables in the diet, why you need to really pay attention to your emotions, that they actually do affect your overall health. They don't understand how stress, believe it or not, begins to slow and shut down the immune system. These are all things that we are just trying to get out there to people, but people will listen in their own time. When they're ready, the best that we can do is simply show them that the information is there when they're ready for it. So that's why I love, again, part of these Friday reviews. And before we get into the research, like I said, a really fun product review this week that I'm happy I was able to test one of these out. And also a lab result that I think most people can and should be running. But how do you read it? You know, that's the important thing. So before we get started, I want to tell you about the brand new product that we began offering. Technically not offering, technically it's free only. So it's CBD gummies. And one of the reasons why we want to do the CBD gummies is, yes, we wanted to make a great tasting product that people absolutely did enjoy, but also what we wanted to do was make this more approachable for a lot of people. A lot of people might not be ready to try the oil or the soft gels or whatever it may be. And gummies are uh, they're fun. They're an easy way, an approachable way to do that. But here's the thing. When I was looking at creating this product or recommending this product from another brand, there were no CBD gummies that I saw of or that I could find that had zero artificial sweeteners and they had zero food dyes because every one that I could find had food dyes, meaning paint, as well as, and so those are the reds and the yellows and the blues you'll see those. And if it says that in there, those are literally poison for the system. We know that they exacerbate ADD, ADHD, seizures, epilepsy, all sorts of different autism spectrum disorder-based issues as well. So if you have mood, if you have inflammation-based issues, you get migraines, stay away from those food dyes in any product. Of course, not just gummies, but mainly beverages. Meaning if you look at the, let's say you walk into a, a CVS or you walk into any you know, local drugstore type place and you go to pick out a a drink and you see someone neon yellow or neon red or neon blue, that's typically not a natural color. And it takes paint. It takes literally food dyes. We say food dyes, but it's the same pigment that's in paint that gives it that color. 
So stay away from those. Very, very important. Okay. So you know right now that we can't sell CBD products. We haven't really been able to for a year. We were one of the originators for CBD in the market. We started offering it four years ago, believe it or not, before like CBD was a thing. I looked at the research and I said, okay, this is legitimate. I mean, there's over a thousand published studies on the effectiveness of CBD. Well, we've been shut down essentially for the last year by processors, by banks, you know, you name it. We're still working on it. We're not that far away, we don't believe, but every time we get a glimmer of hope, they take it away. But we're working hard. We really are behind the scenes. So we can't sell it. We can't charge anything for it. We can't put it on our website, but we're still giving it away. That's how I'm kind of making my way to be able to get these great products to you. So if you head on over to equilibriumnutrition.com, by this Sunday, it would be by the, is it really the, wow, it, it is. It's the 23rd already. It's amazing. All right. So if you head on over and you place an order over $149 at equilibriumnutrition.com by um, this Sunday, the 25th, over 149 US only. We can't ship it overseas. We'd love to be able to, but we can't. We'll send you a free bottle. It won't be in your cart, but we will absolutely ship it separate from your order from a different fulfillment house. Believe it or not, not even our current fulfillment house will let us ship it. You would think that this is a harmful product when not only do we know it's not harmful, the US government's taking patents out on it. We have pharmaceutical companies trying to patent it as well in their own way. It's been shown to work with everything from epilepsy, seizures. It's an anti-anxiolytic. It works with insomnia. I mean, it's a phenomenal product. Anyway, most of them are really cheap out there. We use full spectrum organic only and and you can check it out if you want for more details. All right, let me move on from that. I did want to let you know that that is the kind of fun giveaway that we're doing right now. And I want to move on. And I actually, before I get to my research, I'd like to bring you my product review of the week. And I'm super excited that I got to test one of these out. So there's a company... I didn't get to try their first product, which was the Gravity Blanket. I think one day I would like to try that out. But what I was able to do was test out a newer product. It's been around for a little bit, but it's a newer product called the Moon Pod. Now, keep in mind, when I was very young, one of the things that were super popular back then was beanbags, right? Beanbags were like super fun. You could jump on them. You could kind of lie on them and they were great. Well, This is what they're calling a re-engineered beanbag. And the first time I saw it was actually a magazine review. I'm going to link that up. I'm actually, you know what? I'll embed the video today at stephencabral.com forward slash 1295. So stephencabral.com forward slash 1295. I will link up the the moon pod. I will link up or embed that video that where I first saw it was by a, a magazine, I believe called Fast Company. They did an independent review with the founder and how they liked it and gave their opinion as well. I thought it was pretty cool how you could look at it and and actually use it. So a beanbag is something floppy that you can kind of jump around and, and fall on the floor with. What this was meant to do was actually replace a chair. So you could use it to sit upright, which is pretty amazing because it keeps its shape. You could then recline if you wanted to be in a more relaxed, like a 45 degree angle position. So it replaced like a recliner. And then you could also go into what they call, I think, is nap mode. I just call it like taking a rest or I call it binaural beats mode because you know how much I love binaural beats. And I have a review coming up in a, in a couple of weeks on a very, it's actually, a, it's, I think they're called the medical sounds for binaural beats. Very different than what I've used in the past. But I do want to share that with you in a couple of weeks. So what I've been doing is really getting into these, we'll call them, yeah, medical sound, I guess is what they're calling it to retrain the autonomic nervous system. But I've been listening to these binaural beats on my moon pod. They're like, they call it like a zero gravity seat, I think is what moon pods are describing it as. And it makes it feel like you're not quite weightless, but you're totally relaxed and you sink into this pod. Now it's like a nap pod. You can actually sink your body into it. You can sit up higher, you can sit down lower, you can incline yourself or um, decline yourself or recline yourself, I should say. Now, the way that it works and the reason why it works is that they're using a high density bead. So the beads inside are very tightly packed. I actually opened it up to see these beads. They call them friction beads. And what it allows it to do is keep its shape even while you're seated on it. So that's I would thought that was pretty interesting itself. It does have a, a dual membrane. So meaning it has the enclosed enclosure of the beads, but then it also comes with a space gray, or at least that's the color I got, space gray cover you put over it that you can wash. And it's a, it's a really, it's a good looking color, but it prevents 
any movement really of the beads from coming out and uh, allows it to better keep its shape. It's considered ergonomic and it only takes up about four, they say four square feet. What would that mean? Well, it's about, I, I would say it's more like, let's say you need enough space for about four feet long, about three and a half feet long or so by about two feet wide. And so most people will be able to fit from their head to about their kneecap on it. And you can let your feet touch the floor, dangle off, or you can kind of curl up in a ball. You can take a little nap on your side, which I did try to do. And yeah, overall, a great product. And so I wanted to bring it to you. It's something that I enjoy. I'm trying to figure out where I want to keep it. Do I want to keep it at home? Do I want to keep it in my office? You know, where exactly am I thinking about putting it? And um, I am looking at it because this fall, I want to let you know, I'm going to get much deeper back into my meditation. And I'm going to be using that with binaural beats with some uh, with some neural based feedback devices as well. Really getting into this, and so I'm thinking about putting it in my office because when I get home, it's you know it's it's no holds barred as they say. I've got my daughters you know running at me. <clears throat> I've got my dog probably jumping all over me while I'm on the moon pod, and so uh, at least for right now, I think I'll keep it in the office. So really, really great device. Happy that I was able to test it out. Really enjoyed it. And I wanted to bring it to you now too, because I don't know if this is a forever thing, if they created a new price, but their price right now is $100 off. So it's $299 versus $399 plus free shipping. I think this is a much better deal. I, I think it is worth it at this price. A great product. And I, and I just popped on their website to just see if I was missing anything. And I can see that it is as low as $26.29 a month, they said. So I don't know how long that pricing is going to be going on but I'll just uh, send the link over to them and their company and you can check out more about it. But fun, you know, fun thing, especially if you're looking to take a little 20, 30 minute power nap mid-afternoon, you want something a little bit more comfortable to do your meditation practice on, or you want a chair that's a little bit more comfortable to work on your laptop, et cetera, et cetera. And remember, if you're using a laptop on your lap, always use one of the EMF blocking blockers like a Harapad, etc. I'll talk about those more in an upcoming show. So I will link up that company, MoonPod, and I will link up the video review by Fast Company at stephencabral.com forward slash 1295. All right. Can't wait to bring you this research because here's the thing. So many people in this field, I talk to people about how toxicity can cause weight gain. I talk about how plastics and environmental estrogens can cause weight gain, and I show the science behind it. I talk about how it raises levels of estrogen. I talk about how estrogen can raise levels of cortisol. And I talk about how cortisol can affect your insulin levels and blood sugar release and how that then triggers a suppression of the immune system, an increase in inflammation, and the vicious cycle continues. But most people don't want to listen to that, even though it is all science-based and absolutely correct. Well, one more study I want to bring you. This is, um, what is this done? This is done in Israel's Sheba Medical Center in Tel Aviv. It was published in Science Translational Medicine, and it was done by a medical doctor and PhD called Amir Tarosh. And let's see. Well, it talks about a food-based preservative typically found in baked goods and bread. Pretty common food preservative. And that food-based preservative is called propionate. And propionate is, like I said, used in the majority of baked goods and breads out there. It's a food preservative, so it makes it last longer. You can also find it in cheeses, etc. So what do I want to talk about? Well, I want to talk about that for the most part, it's hidden, that they're simply not going to let you know that it's in it. It doesn't always have to be listed. And here's what it does. It can trigger a hormone response in the body that actually raises blood sugar and insulin levels. And what they found was this, that it's directly connected to obesity and diabetes because of metabolic changes in the body. Here's what they found. And this is not due just to the carbohydrates in the bread and the baked goods. And the reason is this, it also happens with cheese. So we want to look at this as this is a multifactorial based issue affecting many hormones within the body. And it found, at least in mice for right now, that regular doses for 20 weeks, so almost half a year, those mice gain weight and became insulin resistant, which means they essentially got or became diabetic, type 2 diabetes specifically. So eating cheese and processed food and this type of bread caused this weight gain. So there's a lot of people out there who eat bread and cheese, right? What would that be? One of the most common foods that people eat. 
Now, here's the thing. If you run a food sensitivity test, by now, you've heard me talk about it. It's so important for realizing if you have a food sensitivity to these things. And some people will come up as sensitive to cow's milk or certain types of dairy. Some will come up sensitive to wheat. They will come up sensitive to gluten, but maybe not rye or maybe not specifically oats, whatever it might be. Here's the thing. It's more than just food sensitivities as well. It's important to know those. Like data is very, very helpful. It really is. I'll link up the food sensitivity test that you can do right at home as well at today's show notes. But it's also about eating healthy whole food as well. And that will allow you to stay safe for the most part and make the best decisions for you. Now, cheese in this example is not obviously a good indicator, but you've heard me talk about before how cheese is not a, well, in general, cow's milk dairy is not a health food. It really is not. You can make cases for certain things like goat's milk kefir or sheep-based yogurt. You make a case for it. I don't think it's needed, but you can make a case for it of how it might be helpful. You really can't make a case for cow's milk in any shape or form. You really can't. It's not a health food, okay? And I've done previous shows on that, and I'm happy to do another show if, if people would like it. We've talked about before, if it comes in a box, if it comes in a bag, it's suspect, right? It's suspect. Now, maybe it is good for you. Maybe, you know, you got, there was obviously some raw nuts and it came in a bag. Okay, that's a different story or something like that. But for the most part, if it's processed, if it looks like a flour came from flour, it can potentially be a preserved food that we don't want to put in your body. So I just want to let you know that, that it's not about macros. It's not just about calories. And it's not just about, you know, what you're consuming in a day for total caloric content, timing, et cetera. That does matter. It does matter. But this goes deeper. There are layers to this onion that we need to peel back. And so if you got the majority of your calories from broccoli or you got the majority of your calories from baked goods and they were pretty much the same exact calories, you would see weight gain and poor health by eating those baked goods. But you would see robust health and not weight gain with the broccoli. It's just not going to happen. There is a definite difference In the foods that you eat, and a calorie is not a calorie is not a calorie. That is not how things work. When I hear people say all the time a calorie is a calorie, it is not. It is absolutely not. If you ate and consumed 2,000 calories a day of fast food, burgers with buns or so from a fast food restaurant with a a Coca-Cola or something like that, and you took in 2,000 calories, predominantly vegetables, a couple cups of berries, some good quality protein, your body's going to look dramatically different and so are your blood-based markers and overall health markers. I mean, there was movies made on this, right? Super Size Me being one of those. So we have to be careful at, at how we look at food. It's not just calories. It's, it's simply not. Okay. I'm going to keep it at that for today. Of course, I'll link up the study and I keep forgetting the show note page for today. It's 1295. So just head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash 1295. I will link up that study for you to dig into a little bit more if you'd like. All right. Last item of the day. And that is a hair tissue mineral analysis breakdown. One of the least expensive labs you can run. It's part of our starter kit or can get it on its own. But you can also run this with any integrative health practitioner. And you can run this with any doctor that that specializes obviously in functional medicine. So a hair tissue mineral analysis though, it enables you to actually look at what's being excreted by the body and being retained in the hair. Now, this is used by Almost every sports organization, Olympic-based committees, it's used for drug testing, it's used in law enforcement. I mean, it it works because we know that the hair retains what's been excreted. So the great thing is this, is that I'm not going to break down the whole hair tissue mineral analysis today. But what I want to show you is that, and I get questions on it, what happens when I have all low levels of all my minerals? Because it's looking at calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium. It's looking at copper and zinc. And it's looking at selenium and phosphorus, right? Those are the main minerals that we're looking at with that. Below, we're looking at heavy metals. We won't get into that today, but it's looking at cadmium and arsenic and mercury and aluminum and lead. So then we're looking at ultra trace minerals and then your oxidation rate. It's it's an amazing lab. I mean, it really is. But what happens when you see your your good minerals, right? Those minerals like chromium and selenium. Chromium is used for blood sugar regulation. Selenium is used for thyroid and it's used for detoxification. It's a great anti-cancer hormone mineral. So what about those, right? What about it? Well, when we see people at basically low levels across the board, it means three main things. This is very important because there's a lot of people that are doing hair tissue mineral analysis and there's a lot of practitioners. So I want them just to take this into consideration. Three main things. Okay. 
First one is this. Someone that has a very poor diet, maybe eating a lot of processed foods, so they're not getting a lot of good minerals into their body on a daily basis. That's possibility number one. Possibility number two, possibility number two is that they have very weak digestion. So remember, it's not what you eat, it's what your body absorbs. So let's say someone has very weak digestion. I talked about this on Tuesday's show. You can go back and check out that with asthma and allergies and autoimmune and bloating. That if someone has weak digestion, they're not properly extracting the minerals from their food. Maybe they have some type of gut dysbiosis and imbalance of bacteria, so they can't even make the proper vitamins and absorb everything that their body needs. So that's possibility number two. Possibility number three is that they're overly stressed and their body is running through their mineral reserves at a much faster rate. So there's three possibilities. Most people that we work with, they're not eating a very poor diet. They're not eating overly processed food. Every once in a while, sure, but that's not going to rob your body of all your minerals by having a couple, you know, one or two cheat meals. That's certainly not going to happen. So what is it? Well, it's typically a combination of one and two. They're very stressed, which is running through their minerals because they're not getting as much on a daily basis. And number two, they're not able to replace as quickly as they're going through. And that's because, well, one, their body might be more catabolic, but number two is their absorption is weaker. We find that with age, no matter what, with age, your digestion becomes not quite as robust, but also too much antibiotic use, too much medication, too frequent feedings during the day, too heavy a load of protein, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I just want you to know that those are the possibilities. Of course, you can work on stress. Everybody should. But you also then want to work on getting good quality food in your body that's very easy to digest in the beginning. That's something that we're missing out on, that we're not really realizing in our culture, because oftentimes we're recommending these robust salads and all these different things. I'm not against salad. I like salad. It's good. And here's the thing, though. If your body does not have the digestive strength, it's very difficult to extract all this nutrition. It's one of the main reasons we recommend starting the day with a smoothie. It's one of the days why we recommend oftentimes more cooked food than not to help build back up that digestive system. And this has always been talked about by the natural hygienists, the traditional naturopaths, the Ayurvedic practitioners, and the Vajas, and we talk about the TCM doctors, everybody. Everybody recommends this. Everybody. But we don't talk about it in modern day conventional medicine. Registered dietitians are not taught it either. We work with a lot of registered dietitians inside of the Integrative Health Practitioner, yes, Institute. And they get to take their formal training and, and blend it with integrated practice. And it's a, it's a great thing. So I wanted to share that with you today. I'll be talking a lot more about the hair tissue mineral analysis simply because it's not as well understood. So a lot of doctors and practitioners are fearful of running it because they don't really know how to read it. But I would love to teach more about it. And I'll do that. And of course, if you're interested, you can always check out integrativehealthpractitioner.org where we go in depth on these labs. So thanks so much for tuning in to another Friday Review. I appreciate you. And this weekend, we will be doing more house calls each and every weekend. Stay tuned. Between five and 10 questions per day are answered. I hope you enjoy them and I hope you enjoy a very fun weekend. Take care. And as always, if this show is helpful, please do feel free to pass along to anyone else you believe it could serve. I want to sincerely thank you for your support of this podcast. I couldn't do it without you, and I mean that. I truly do. I also want to make sure you knew that we now have multiple ways for you to find your answers to the most difficult health, wellness, weight loss, and anti-aging questions. You can find podcast-specific topics like thyroid, adrenal, hormones, sleep, digestion, Ayurveda, and many more at stephencabral.com forward slash podcasts that will then link you to your favorite Apple, Spotify, and other podcast players. Plus, all new podcasts and weekly exclusive video content is being added to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Stephen Cabral. And that's Stephen with a PH. Head on over and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the exclusive content. Lastly, if you've ever found any of my podcasts or books to be helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a review on iTunes or your favorite media player for the podcast. Rating and subscribing to the YouTube and podcast allow me to reach more and more people and help spread my mission of healing throughout the world. Thank you again for being a part of this movement.